Okay, this is uh, in uh, Hawakale subdivision uh, or community, uh, Kamakana section, Kaiuli Uli Street. This is our Amana system, and uh, what I'm going to be doing is replacing uh, on the squirrel cage fan motor, which should be, uh, I can't remember to be honest, I think it's in that section right over there. So I'm going to be replacing the uh, back side of the motor is the ECM for the variable speed motor. Uh, the symptom being that when the AC kicks on, the AC comes on at a low speed. It throttles up reasonably rapidly to the highest speed setting. And then about three to five times during the cooling cycle, it just drops really quick. And it has to spool up again. And it just can't find that that nice middle ground where it needs to be cooling at, which would be a much more energy efficient cooling uh, rate uh, than it's currently, you know, trying to seek high and low and high and low. It's just, uh, it's unnecessarily uh, struggling. So I uh, bought a, a new ECM off of eBay, uh, not a new one, excuse me, a, a one that they pulled from a working unit, supposedly works, hopefully it does. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're looking at horizontally positioned. There's your, uh, inside of here would be your, do, 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 your a coil inside of there positioned as such, I believe. No, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in here. I'm trying to remember the configuration to be honest. So, uh, let's go ahead and pull off this main big panel first. And then, uh, if necessary, we probably have to pull off this this lower secondary panel here. All we're going to do is just remove the uh, obvious screws on a panel right there. And that's it. I'll do that off camera. All right, so my first concern is that this item here, as I'm opening this, PCM says... Well, it does say GE, three-quarter horsepower, but it also says train on it, so I'm a little a little concerned about that. It may be that they use these universally amongst the different uh, motor setups, probably. Okay, for the replacement part. Again, this is a an Amana uh, AC system. Outside says Amana. Uh, here on the inside, we've got... Here's the tag on that guy. Goodman Company. So this is a Goodman model AEPF42. Uh, 6016CA is in Charlie Alpha. This is a three quarter horsepower motor, 6.2 amp. Let's see. Amp, 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 where's my amp? So, boy, this is 6.8. So, I guess we'll see. <laughs> boy, I'm a little bit nervous about that. We're going to see when we pull this, this off if we got a match or not, to be honest. So, a uh, 5 sixteenths. I don't know if that's focused or not. My glasses are... So fogged up. A 516 seems to be the right side, but an 8 millimeter also should work just fine for removal of these screws on here. And so to pull off this panel, it's got a little, kind of like a little flap hinge there. So I'll try to work it off from that angle. See, so it's got these little lips on there that'll fit underneath there. Okay, so that's the section you're going to need to remove. Is there's your squirrel, your uh, your squirrel cage and motor. So you can leave this side on. You might need to, to take off this screw and this screw just to give relief as you're uh, as you're opening this guy up. A little quick uh, notes on this one. Here's your here's your uh, filling port for your bleach. So you should be able to just unscrew that. This is how the builder put this. So it's just a a plug, and then so you just take your bleach, dump down about a cup or two cups or so. That'll do is I'll keep this this uh, this P trap nice and clear of uh, mildew, and it'll it'll drain down your system and out the side of your house. Uh, that keeps 
your primary drain from backing up. If this drain backs up, the system will back up. Here. The system's gonna back up. It's gonna fill up this pan inside here with all your condensate. That thing, uh, I can't turn on my, I don't think I can turn on my light. Let's see, there you go. So there's your, your A-coil sitting right there on its side, horizontally positioned. And uh, you're gonna end up getting overflow into this pan. That's what you don't want. If this pan fills up with water, it's going to drain down here. So basically it's gonna overflow. It's gonna fill up your pan. And then when a the pan gets filled, here's a, uh, let's see, comes out this, yeah, comes out here. It's gonna fill up your pan. Uh, no, 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 excuse me. It's gonna run down here and it's gonna drain out of an alternate point on your house. But if this backs up for any reason, it's gonna fill your pan up and then you have a float valve right here. Once the water gets so high, it's gonna shut your AC system down and you're gonna notice that your thermostat downstairs should go blank, like, like it's dead. That's one good sign. Come up here, check this pan. If there's any water in this pan ever, you need to get your lines blown out. You've got a problem in here and if that sucker overflows, you're flooding your entire uh, house with condensate. So uh, that's just a little quick shop note on that. Anyway. All right, so our main job here is to take this, this squirrel cage here, which has got the motor mounted right on top there, the, the uh, dark gray part, that's uh, the motor. Actually, that's the ECM, the first phase of it. That is this component here, hopefully. And uh, below that kind of dividing line on that, if you will, is the rest of your motor that has a axle that goes down here and it turns this fan and the fan is what creates the uh, the fan velocity in your house, obviously. So, what we're gonna want to do is disconnect those two quick quick wire connectors up in there, and and get all the power off of this unit. There's, and then we're safe to work on it. To remove this actual whole squirrel cage, it's gonna be a a bolt right here, or a screw right here. You can see it? And it's the same as this screw up here. Pull those guys out. Again, your eight mil should work on them. And then you can see the channel right there in the middle of the frame. There you go, at that upper edge. That's just a little, a little slide. So this whole thing is gonna slide right out and we'll clear out a space and we'll be working on it right here. So uh, first thing, we'll, we'll pull the power. Helps to have a little headlamp from Costco in here. So you got a little release tab push up on and then pull the wire set out. I gotta do that off camera because I need both hands. Okay. So that one's out. Oh, it's hard to focus in there with a little light. And then for this guy here. Should be able to pinch. Oh, it's got two pinchers on. Pinchers on the side. So push from the sides on both both fingers and pull out. And you're disconnected. And your power is effectively turned off. So I've, I've also disconnected power outside the house and uh, at the uh, the condenser, compressor, whatever you call that outdoor unit. So uh, you notice the green wire. That's just your ground wire. So you gotta find it. It's gonna be connected onto a, a screw at the back of the unit. So when you pull this guy out, you'll be able to, to a quick spin that thing off. So uh, last phase of pulling this motor. Find your, is that my eight? Oh, that's too big. Get your uh, eight mil or five eighths. And then we have these two screws there. I'm gonna do it off camera. Okay, now with those two screws pulled out, this whole thing should just slowly slide out. Be conscientious of your wires here. Make sure you don't nick those. I mean, or uh, you know, screw those up. 
and you'll have to you have to slowly work this one around this edge uh, just so you don't pinch it you know you want to basically you want to get it behind that lip and then be careful not to to cut that with this sheet metal corn right here so you just pull that tension off of there as you slide this guy out clear off my workspace and uh, do the rest of this slide out off camera and I think I will go ahead and work on this thing. I'll just probably throw it right behind me to, to work on this little area up in here. A decent workspace area. Just just offset here to the other side of the unit. Oh, I guess I had my camera on, sorry about that. Uh, so now would be a really good time to compare notes, make sure I got the right everything on here. Three quarter horse. <sighs> Such small print. This is my camera to zoom in on that guy. shadows up in here. Well, sorry about the shaky camera work. Sit to the side so I can actually get a good eyeball on it. Three quarter horsepower. We got 120, 240 volt, ECM 2.3, here this does not look like the part that I bought off of eBay 6.8 amps let me see if I can find where that's written Let's see so key components it's the same looks like it's the same size uh, let's spin it around and see if I can find that 6.8 amp or anything to that effect on there. <sighs> Shit, I wish I would have actually said that on there. Let's compare our plugs also. Because if those plugs aren't the same, we're screwed anyway. Looks like I've got a two, four, six. So up in this upper left corner is slightly rounded on the left side. And then it's a square and then slightly rounded. Slightly rounded, square, slightly rounded. Bottom left is square, square, slightly rounded. Square, square, slightly rounded. Square, 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 square. Square, 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 square. Slightly rounded downside, downside, slightly down, slightly down. Square, square. Alright, all the holes match up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Squared, squared. Squared, squared, yeah. Everything is a, a match on those, so the plugs will go in there. I'm gonna have to give this a shot. Okay, so for this one, it's actually a lot easier than removing the whole motor. All we need to do is remove this bolt and this bolt. These are long bolts. This is what they're gonna look like. They actually included that in eBay auction. So as you can see right here, there's little, you can see a little stem. So this bolt travels down through and it locks these two uh, the ECM to the motor. So that's what you're working against there. 
if I was to remove the motor itself like I've done before what you want to do is uh, I would label these legs these legs are gonna be uh, kind of critical as far as where they get mounted how deep they get mounted etc so what I would do is I would take a marker I would or a pen or something a pencil and I would draw a line around this band this band right here the uh, galvanized band to the motor itself I would also go ahead and draw lines around your little bushings here don't lose these guys you're gonna need those later and uh, just just well document video document all the way out basically what it is is these legs are a cushiony kind of a support bracket with a little bit of vibration uh, ability in it you know they don't doesn't twist or anything Sorry, it's so dark. but this galvanized band fits around these legs after these legs are uh, before these legs get installed so the height of each of these legs it's so hard to show this matter yeah, I might be able to see that over there see how the leg actually carries through the band so you want to have the the band in the correct place on these when this is all said and done so pull these out pull the motor put all your pen markings around that entire lower motor assembly then remove the band itself there will be a that bolt right there will uh, unscrew or unbolt and uh, that'll release the tension off of that band then you can pull the whole motor out replace it etc so getting back to the ECM which this video is more about you can use any empty uh, quick adapter screwdriver for this real driver and that will fit with no bits right over the top of these bolts let's say there's probably about eight pounds of torque maybe eight to ten pounds of torque if uh